For this week's two minute concepts video, we're gonna go over how to analyze the stability of a beam. Oh yeah, everybody now. Now, before we get started, you guys, my team and I just created a cheat sheet that is 30 pages long and it covers all the important equations and concepts that you should know before you take your FE exam. So make sure that you guys download it here. Now, how do you determine if a beam is unstable or stable and determinate or stable and indeterminate? Well, these are the equations that we use that help us determine the stability of a beam. Now, here's the thing. These equations are not provided to you guys on the reference manual. So you have to make sure that you add them to your cheat sheet and make sure that you remember them for your FE exam. Now, let's go over these equations. So first we have R. So R is for the number of reactions. So this is the part where you have to go back to statics and review the types of supports that we have. Now, I also covered this under the cheat sheet that I shared with you guys at the beginning of this video. So if you go to page 14, you'll be able to see all the types of supports and then also the reactions. Now, once you determine the number of reactions that you have, then you compare it to three. Okay, if it's less than three, then it's unstable. If you have three reactions, that means you have a stable and determinate structure. And if it's greater than three, that means you have an indeterminate structure. Now, why three? Okay, let me go over this a little bit. So we have three because we have three equilibrium equations, the summation of the forces on the X, the summation of the forces on the Y, and the summation of the moment, right? Which means if we have three reactions, that means we have three equations and we can easily solve for the reaction forces, which means we have a determinate structure. Now, if you guys want to see a problem where we apply these equations, go ahead and comment below beam example. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys are looking for study material that will help you pass faster and earn more, don't forget to check out our courses where we cover everything that you need to pass your FE exam faster. And before you go, make sure to check out this 90 free FE problems playlist, which will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la oh, yeah. Everybody now.